It's hard to see their features. cartoon about Gulliver in the land of Lillipoo. My friend Jeannie let me borrow it. I have it till tomorrow. And what's the story about? Well, it's about this guy who gets shipwrecked where the people are just so teeny, teeny, tiny. Fixies, you mean? No, not fixies. Lilliputians. Lilliputians? Uh-huh. Know what, Simka? I think that you fixies might have come from those Lilliputians. No way! Our grandpa told us a completely different story of the Fixies. When something is very well made, then the saying goes that it was made with just a little bit of soul. In old times, craftsmen made things to last, and in each appliance, they would leave just a little piece of their soul. Those little pieces of their soul would turn into tiny craftsmen called Fixies, who would then make the appliance their home and take care of it every day. And that's how the very first Fixies came about. But as the years have passed, fewer things are being made by hand and more and more things are getting made by machines in factories. That means there are less and less new Fixies coming from human souls. Luckily, Fixies can fall in love with each other and have their own family, raising their children and teaching them well so they'll grow up to become skillful and honest master Fixie repairmen. So you're mistaken. We're not Lilliputians at all. We're Fixies. Yeah, Fixies. Listen, Tom Thomas, why don't you show us the movie? Yeah, yeah, I want to learn about Lilliputians too. Really, I do. Sure, I'll show you. Oh no, what's going on? I broke it, ugh. I can't give her back a disc that's messed up. Don't panic. We'll take a look at it. Come lay it down over here. Huh. Tom Thomas, why is this disc all covered in jelly? Because I was touching it with my fingers. I mean, uh, what else? It's obvious you don't know how a disc works at all. And do you know how it works? Yeah, I know. Yeah? If we take a look at a digital disc through a powerful microscope, we can see rows of tiny valleys of different lengths. These valleys are actually a code for the cartoons, games, or music recorded onto the disc. Inside a disc player, a laser beam reads the code and helps turn it back into pictures and sounds. But if you scratch the disc or smudge the disc with dirty fingers, the laser can't read it and the disc won't play. That's why you need to keep discs clean and stored in cases. So that's why you should only hold discs along the edges. And when you're done watching them, you have to put them back inside their boxes. And what about this one? Do we have to get rid of it? Not so fast. Nolik, this calls for a major cleaning. Let's get the brooms. Thomas, check the disc. 
it go. Now you're holding it right. Hooray! The disc works fine. Hooray! Now we can watch the movie about the Lilliputians. Hey, Gulliver, why are you sitting there? You've seen this movie already. I'm knowing what. What, what? Look at that pile of discs. Where do you need to put them? Huh. In their boxes. The stain. Tom Thomas, what's going on? If you really want to watch TV, then you gotta turn it on first. I'm not watching it, I'm looking at my reflection. I'm working on a self-portrait. And which shelf will you be painting in your shelf-portrait? <laughs> it's not a shelf portrait. It's called a self-portrait. It's when an artist draws or paints a picture of himself. Of himself? Ha! You think you've got muscles like this superhero I see here on this paper? Uh, how can I see exactly what my muscles look like? And anyway, let the artist do his work. Tom Thomas! Your shirt! There's a spot! <gasps> oh, no! Wipe it off, quickly! It's even worse, so now what? Uh, what we really need is Masia. <laughs> Ordinary dirt can be cleaned off with a brush or washed off with water. But there are stains that are not that easy to get rid of. Stains from fruit need to be soaked in hot water first. Blood stains, on the other hand, should never be washed in hot water. You can clean stains from paint or rust as well. Only for those, you'll need to use a special stain remover. But stain removers should only be used with the help of a parent or other adult that knows how to use them safely. Hey, I know a great way to do it. What do you use to get rid of pencil marks? An eraser. Only this shirt isn't paper. And so what? Let's try it. What's the harm? Now I've got three colors to get off. New idea! We should paint over it with this correction pen. With whiteout? Yeah! That was a bad idea. Now I got it. You have to use some water. The wash should be better, don't you think? No! You can't wash whites with colors. And you've got a white shirt with colors all over it. Then how about if we try some more water? How much more can you use? <sighs> uh, any more ideas? You know what? It's possible we did something wrong. <laughs> Everything you did was wrong. You should have used a spot remover to clean off that stain. A spot remover? No way! Oh, take a look at it, Simka. I think it's marvelous. They painted that white shirt so nicely. Tula is Simka's best friend. She's very tall, almost as tall as Papus. Yeah, she's the tallest one in her class. And she's strong, too. Tula loves to laugh, and she does it louder than everybody. That's just the way she is. Cheerful and kind. Ready to help anyone who needs it, and making sure her friends are getting along. Of course, I don't like that she treats me like a baby, especially since she's the one that's a scaredy cat. She can even get scared of a cute little spider. And she believes in all sorts of silly superstitions and horoscopes. Tula will believe anything you tell her, which is really great because it makes it so easy to play tricks on her. But she takes it all in good fun. That's because she's Tula. It was on purpose, wasn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. Tom Thomas, no! Your mom will punish you for just one of them. And now you're gonna make more stains? Don't worry, Nolik. I forgot that this is an old shirt and I'm allowed to get it all dirty if I want. And I tried so hard to clean it. Put another spot there. And over here. One in the middle. And a line over there. Splendid! That looks great! And how about down there? Wow! It's like fireworks! Splendid! There's a name 
for this style of painting, and properly speaking, it's an abstract painting. They have lots of lines and spots, and everyone sees whatever they want in them. Yeah, look! A golden ball by the river! And there's Tom Thomas with an F on his report card! <laughs> <laughs> Tom Thomas, what did you do to your room? And your shirt. You know what they call it? It's, uh, abstract art. Hmm, there's something good in it. I like it. Abstract art. Isn't it great? Ah, oh, my little artist. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. 